All right, this will be a short and boring to most uh, video on the Korg XE20 and some key bed issues that at least I have been having. Uh, XE20, this is new. This is I'm making this in December 2020. This particular keyboard was sent to me in November. I had a, a previous one that made it to me around August that had a similar issue on different keys. So let me uh, demonstrate what they are. I've got the volume turned down. Um, just so the sound coming from the speaker doesn't overpower um, these noises. But when you're playing, they do. Like you can hear the noises over the piano sound that you're playing. All right, there's two. So here's, here's for reference, you know, nice padded quiet notes. Um, I really like the feel of the keys. But I come down here to even just touching it there, you could tell. Um, this G, two below middle C, and it is a loud key. It, every time you hit it, it just you just really feel it and hear it. Um, the ones next to it are a little more cushioned, but um, that one's just... So I come back up here. That's just padded the way you expect, and that you get that extra clack. All right, this next one's going to seem nitpicky, but man, does it bore into my ear when I'm playing. So the G right below middle C has a metallic kind of scratch on the way down and on the way up. See if you can hear it through this little phone mic. I don't know if you can hear that scratch. Um, so I was playing minuet in G major and I had to hit that note over and over again. And every time it just kind of like chalkboard scratch. This one, that's the only key that I hear doing that particular metallic sound. But I'm worried that it seems to be spreading to additional keys, that, you know, one or the other of the sounds, and uh, wondering how bad it's going to get as this thing ages. Um, trying to decide if I should send this back in and get a third keyboard, or if I just need to move on to another model because maybe it's impacting a lot of these. Anyway, hopefully this video makes it into the hands of other XE20 owners, and we can see if uh, if this is a widespread issue or just me. Thanks.